There's a person in your energy that feels you are worth the risk. The reward of you is worth the re the reward of you is worth the risk of rejection. So this energy is it can go two it could go two ways. Either this is a person that you guys broke up and there was like this like unspoken understandings that you would not be chasing them. That you noticed your pattern and the old you would have deflected. The old you would have chased. The old you would have continued and continued to be like, I'm not giving up on this person. But that's not who you are anymore. And you're and with this energy, the person you've been in separation with who's feeling like like taking a risk on you, if we will. I do sense them being able to bring value to your life. And you're completely correct that you reaching out to them would be not, it wouldn't be chasing at this point because it's been so long, but it would mess with law of attraction, balance, give and take. You're at the finish line. There's this person's energy. It's very attached to your, the way I feel is they're attached to your presence, which means they are looking you up online. They're no longer in a state of like uh, denying what this energetic connection between you two is. Well, they're much more spiritual than they let off to the world as well. And I see even more now. Wow. Yeah. The energy this connection is is going to bring to your life once it's reconnected is the blueprints being ready to be performed the planning the gathering i see this person's been thinking about reaching out to you for a very long time they wanted to make sure their soul didn't feel lost they wanted to make sure that after all the dust settled with their old plans, destroying that building that they once thought was the whole structure of their life, aka the old way of living. After all of that, and the energy winds down, and I feel centered, I'm reaching out, or I'm going to bring them back in my life if even after all of that they still are more than an image in the back of my mind whoever the masculine is, is in this dynamic is definitely cooking if you will in this energy meaning they're they're a very spiritual source the masculine in this dynamic they they understand law of attraction they absolutely understand and are in touch with their feminine side to not play games with people. I do sense a person that's surrendered to your connection, meaning they don't doubt at all what they feel for you. But they also know when you both separated, it was time to let you go. That maybe, just maybe... I was seeing further into the future what we could have versus what was in those moments. They had to slaughter the old timeline. They had to slaughter away feeling that they could have done anything differently. They didn't know the things about themselves and about the world and about love. They didn't, the things they know now, they didn't know that at the beginning of your dynamic. What I see is even through them rebuilding from a base structure, if you will, going through all of their, their ups and downs with different connections, this energy is not in a state of longing for you. 
it's in a state of knowing you're already connected and neither of you can really ever energetically there's nothing you could do to completely throw that or pull that away you absolutely can not be in each other's 3d existence but there's always going to be that pull because there is something more between you two So now they have the tools under their belts and they don't want to wait and they understand it's game on energy with you. No doubts. I sense you I sense you being interesting energy. Let me see what's under this. You won't have to travel far to see each other or there is a sense of meeting halfway. I do sense your next outing together is going to be at a form of almost like an event with vendors lined up. It could be food trucks. It could be even booths. So there's definitely a sense of I don't want. Okay, I see. There would be like an event already planned out for you to to see each other. Somebody putting a ball in your court to ask, would you like to meet me here? There's going to be music. Another thing is your souls definitely speak through music. I see your souls blending together more than energy, but colors. Wow. This person sees that they weren't just attracted to your looks or what they thought could be. They, they felt your soul and the drive that it made for them to go back to the drawing board about what they felt how love was supposed to be. All I see is their next steps are they've already developed that plan. And the racing feeling of the heart, the back and forth that you have felt so many times was them going through that yin yang feeling of their head. You weren't crazy. Those times that you were like, there's too many synchronizations for me to not feel and acknowledge that this is something outside of me, this presence, this is attached to me, this anger, this sadness I'm feeling, this overwhelmingness of thinking about them and, and feeling like something was going to happen and then nothing happening. Whoever you are, you've honored yourself through this process. And there's no more plotting to meet you, to see you. What is your step one out of this reading? Allow yourself to not feel like you have, it's an interesting energy. Well, this we've already established this person's definitely looking at your profiles and etc. I'm feeling that you shouldn't make indecisions about thinking Okay, I know this one's taking a little bit longer, but the person attached to you, there is a deep sense of if you were blocked or etc. If you look up now their name, you will see something pop up. You will see a profile pop up. Like there's an ability for you to be able to uncover information that wasn't accessible to you about this person before this could even be being added to like a close a closed friends list on like either instagram or snapchat or etc they want you to with balance give and take acknowledge that you are allowed to see this person you are allowed to 
look at their profiles and etc their old messages and not see it as a nostalgic mindset or doing something wrong or going backwards you must in your life accept the way you feel for them and know that if they are picking up on your energy enough to dive head first into seeing if what's going on in your life, that if they have a place for it. That spirit's gonna align the rest of the dots for them. That you can't reach out to this person, but you can entertain and feel their presence and allow yourself to look them up. Allow yourself to not feel like you're trapped in a box of never being able to look at a picture of them. It's interesting energy. This is one of the most, like, this energy is not clouded. But a deep sense. You're just attached to them being able to release their fear and blockages. And they feel hot. They feel comfortable. But breaking that barrier of silence. It's truly going to take them stating going back to you is not weak. Like, it's not weak to reach out to you. The things that they're going to have to say to you are hard. There is a sense of rawness, of scared, of fear. If you were to understand completely what was going in the back of their life, you would see why why they are so scared to talk to you about their past addictions. The things that had to, to happen behind the scenes to make safety, to release people and energy that no longer served, to make balance. What I really sense right now is their fear of telling you the truth. Hey, this is the can of worms that comes with being in my life. This is what I've dealt with before you and I could be together. This is why I couldn't tell you everything that was happening. This is why I blocked you, etc. It's time to press play, being back in each other's connection. This next year of your life together is going to be romantic. And it needs to be a leisure presence in each other's life. You've driven away from a timeline where you two would have a form of... What would the word even be? The old timeline together would have been like trauma dumping, trauma bonding. And, and now your dynamic is stability and talking about present future. Not needing to analyze a past relationship, not needing to analyze the fear of self, of what I don't trust in my own intuition before being able to be with somebody. They're ready to dive into this connection with you because they've done a deep amount of inner child work. So there's no need for you to be a detective. There's no need for you to need to 
figure out the right thing to say or do. All of the information is going to be and is presented to you. There's always going to be another question to answer. There's always going to be another card to pull, if you will. So the only energy to go right now is of harvest. To know that these crops, these sources of nutrition are ready to be plucked. And if they stay too long, they will rot. Meaning there's always going to be something more to be replenished by taking what is needed to be taken now and letting the rest resurface. Have each other hang out organically, see each other organically. Don't feel like you pick all of the fruit at once and then you go back and, and there's going to be a whole sense of the, of the fruit regrowing again so fast. You have to organically see each other, hang out, let there be time apart for the fruit, for the crops, etc. to grow back again. And you have to nourish those crops, you have to water them, you have to feed them, but you don't sit there and drown them. You don't sit there and overfeed them. The biggest channel message I'm getting is notice when fear tries to start deterring you and make you hazy. Versus when you're calm and, and you can feel this drive between you two. Keeping it leveled. They have a lot of fear they're still dealing with. It's, in, it's undeniable. But I just see the fear not being able to take over the ability to be in each other's life anymore. Be ready to listen. Unpack the past to be present and in the future. There's a lot they have to tell you. So that's where I'm going to conclude this one. They're definitely, like, I can feel when an energy is lingering, like it's wanting me to stay and pull out more information or questions answered, etc. But there's only so much you can even be open to with them. There's only so much could be answered from the cards, from the spirit from energy the next things that to be answered have to come straight from their source their human source so continue with your days for some of you this is happening far sooner than later I think about the, I'm thinking, I can see a mind process of balancing. What secrets were they keeping from you before? What fears do they have of individuals lying? But then feeling their intuition and seeing all of the synchronization, seeing the last thing you see their energy as is whining. As low as pathetic, etc. They really need to hear your voice for this to completely settle forth. They go in the little circle about you, but it's about other things in their life as well. But the thing that sticks is presenting you an offer. So just take it from there. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.